Many stories of tragedy litter the Cairngorm's long history. Stories of unwary travelers cut down by blizzards or perishing through hypothermia and exposure. Stories of disorientation caused by the confusing terrain. Stories of the frequent sight-stealing mists. But in addition to all of these quite rational reasons to be wary here, these mountains harbor something else too. Something implacably, deeply frightening. The Cairngorms have been known to stir feelings that have turned otherwise stoically rational folk decidedly irrational. And these are invariably pinned to one mountain in particular. In 1924, the writer Ernest A. Baker was caught out by darkness on Ben McDewey. He described the darkening mountains around him as watching with invisible eyes and being filled with the sense of some unknown presence, an instinctive dread, as if we denizens of a lower world had no right of entry to this region of calm, this abode of sleeping terrors. He then wrote of a hard-headed man he knew who told Baker he once ran five miles without stopping from high on the mountain down to the Rothimachus forest in what he described as mortal panic. Baker then quotes John Campbell Sharp's 1876 poem, Glen Dessary. In the deep of noon, mysterious dread fell on me in that glimmering glen till as from haunted ground I fled back to the kindly homes of men. <laughs> 